god, it's not lagging. This looks bad. Our men are surrounded by yellow turbans. It is the height of foolishness to set up camp on a narrow path when you have such numbers. Yeah, but look on the bright side. Now we get to rescue. Yes. You finished talking? Do this right. Let's get on with it, Yuan. Yeah! Oh, whoa! Uh, whoa! Words are not needed for him. Impressive. Pummel the yellow turtles, right? Let's get this over with then. Someone should come to my aid. Without me, there can be no victory. Looks like one of our superiors needs our help, cousin. We'd better give him a hand. Someone so strong. Another victim has fallen before me. Magnificent. Be sure to call by my camp later, and you will be duly rewarded. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the Imperial Court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Zhao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered, one was determined to use the turmoil to make a name for himself. His name was Cao Cao, the hero of chaos. With numerous loyal followers, he threw himself into the battle. For within his heart burned a secret ambition, the likes of which the world had never seen. 